Oh, welcome back my gardening friends the sun is setting managed to get a little bit of time before we uh, lock up just to come and get some carrots so I thought I'd just share with you uh, these are my uh, sweet candle carrots I've already pulled three out and uh, really impressed and uh, let's uh, have a little look and then we'll have a little look at the ones in the wick containers that draw the moisture up from the blue barrels but first sweet candle so the netting is the environmesh this should stop the uh, carrot uh, root fly from uh, getting in here and uh, they're supposed to be high enough uh, to stop them flying up but a gust of wind and they'll be in so uh, I still uh, I still actually uh, cover them keeps everything else off as well I must say they uh, from the first uh, three that we uh, harvested I was quite impressed oh dear me it's in there somewhere I've got a bad wrist I'm gonna have to use my other hand oh but uh, no these are really coming out uh, well uh, I'll show these in these i use the dibber to make a hole put some cocoa koi in no nutrients the carrots don't need nutrients else they'll grow legs three seeds and then we thin it out to the uh, thin it out to the strongest one or the one that's in the middle but uh, as you can see there they're uh, a nice carrot did not feel that one's a split so this one has had too much water all the rain that we've had Nothing wrong with it, no good for showing. But uh, so far, so good. Pointed in the right direction. We'll take one more because the. Uh... Well, here we go. I'm glad I showed you that. So, even though I've done used the dibber to do it, it's obviously found uh, a few nutrients, so all these little hairs can turn into that. For the giant carrots that's exactly what we want so if these little fibers there find any nutrients they start growing like this uh, still a good carrot but this is why uh, we need to make sure that you're on the four year rotation no manure so that's why I'm, this is my second gr year growing here this bed was full of n really good nutrients manure uh, hops spent hops etc so it's still in its early stages of uh, getting rid of all those uh, those nutrients so we'll get those tidied up and uh, we've got absolutely loads of carrots to go at here so let's uh, we'll have a little look at the container that we uh, have got the wicks in so there's the barrels we've got some nice long wicks in here it's been so wet I haven't been able to test to see uh, where the moisture is and you can see we're we've got a pea growing there well that's the mice uh, burying them somewhere else let's just have a little look if I can with me uh, gammy hand um, that's nice and moist but uh, I'll leave this open keep pulling the weeds and then eventually we'll cover them up oh look it's a nice carrot you see if we show you everything here because I don't edit but um, yeah so we've had the Chantonaise along here and then because of all the weather we did some uh, carrot early nance let's see if we can work our way along that one that one with some more baby Chantonaise Shed Wars, the ones we got, oh, got from Shed Wars, and then some uh, Autumn King. Uh, so we kept successional sowing all the way along. So what I'm going to do is pull a few out. Uh, there's no good uh, putting you on the tripod, we're too high up. We're quite high up, as you can see. Uh, I haven't found any carrot root flying here, but uh, you never know. So uh, 
there we go let's just work our way along into the different uh, varieties of these these were not <laughs> um, sorted out there we go that one uh, is for the ladies it's uh, obviously uh, just uh, found a, a few nutrients you see plenty in there I'll cover those up so we'll move along a little bit further oh look love these lovely oh and there's the uh, coloured carrots we'll still eat those nothing goes to waste move along a bit further and one for the gentleman So they're all ready to uh, harvest now. So another variety here. And they ain't bad. I haven't, uh, all I've done, it's all sifted. We haven't uh, done anything uh, to these. And then uh, the last row, whatever I said that was. There we go. Let's have a, oh, look at that one. There were the uh, autumn ones. But these have uh, done really well. Um, on the smaller ones I've got bits of plastic to hold them together to stop them splaying apart and then on the the larger one uh, I've actually left a piece in so this would have been completely sealed other than one area where the uh, lid was but you can see that is still bellying out a little bit but it's something that we can uh, we can deal with the foliage is just dying off a little bit and remember when we harvest the carrots take them away from your carrots dump the leaves on the floor completely confuses the uh, the uh, carrot uh, root fly he thinks he's onto a winner yeah lay your eggs there buddy so there's the sweet candle giving them plenty of room uh, they get to a good size and of course if they hit any nutrients uh, they will uh, they will fork uh, too much water they will split and sometimes when you wash uh, the larger carrots they suddenly take on a lot of water and they just pop and they split open it isn't an issue and here's the uh, carrots that we grew in the wick guttering oh, no wick system at the barrels and it seems to be working well and uh, we've got a nice coloured one there and uh, well that reminds me of home Mrs K on the right there legs crossed and I'm standing there looking awkward so I do have a lot of barrels and a lot of stinging nettles I need to get in there with the uh, cool job thorn proof uh, uh, resistant uh, gloves but where I've got uh, the barrels I do like to try and uh, grow stuff uh, on them and this uh, has really uh, has worked really well uh, this year and uh, those will be the carrots again they don't lack nutrients, they'll grow very happily uh, all on their own. Uh, thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like the content. Uh, I'm just trying to video a little bit as we go while I'm very, very busy at work. And uh, please leave me a comment uh, how you grow your carrots. Remember, comments are the best place to learn about growing that's where I, uh, I, I'll read through the comments as I'm watching the video or listening to the video. Join in with the comments, give advice, take advice. And uh, why not consider subscribing. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.